This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Monday, 14th October 2024. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. The federal government is finalizing the procurement of 34 fighter jets to wage war against recurring insurgents and other criminal elements in the country. Already, a team of experts headed by the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Hazen Abubakar, is in Italy finalizing the process. 24 M346 fighter ground attack jets and 10 AW109 Trekker helicopters are on the list. M346 jet is an advanced trainer and light attack aircraft with the advantages of precision strike, high speed and maneuverability. It is said to be precise in intelligence gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance. The Trekker helicopter offers several advantages in military and counter-terrorism operations due to its endurance in the battlefield and quick response to emerging threats. President Bola Hametunubu had repeatedly expressed his determination to equip the armed forces to enable them perform their constitutional duties and effectively combat security challenges across the country. The Super Eagles are still at Alabrak Airport more than 12 hours after landing in Libya. The Nigerian Football Federation Communications Department in a statement says Nigeria's delegation to Tuesday's 2025 Afghan qualifier against Libya are still at the Alabrak Airport. A video posted by the Eagles media team also confirmed the development as the players and officials along with their luggage were left stranded at the airport with the Libyan airport officials in different to their plight. The Eagles departed for Libya on Sunday morning ahead of their 2025 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying match day four clash against the Mediterranean Knights. Libya will host the three-time African champions at the 10,000 capacity Matayas of Benina Stadium in Benina, located just 10 kilometers from Benghazi. But reports emerged that they were diverted to another city. Four people have been confirmed dead and about 70 injured after Israeli jets bombed a tented camp housing displaced Palestinians in the grounds of Al-Aqsa Matthias Hospital in Deir el-Bala. The death toll is expected to rise as rescue teams scramble to rescue survivors. The Israeli military has said four soldiers were killed and seven severely injured in a Hezbollah drone attack that targeted an army base in Binyamina in northern Israel. In Gaza, at least 42,200 127 people have been killed and 98,464 injured in Israeli attacks since October 2023. At least 1,139 people were killed in Israel on October 7, 2023, and more than 200 people were taken captive. And that's it on your show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, News Drill. And always remember to spread love everywhere you go. Have a terrific week.